FIFA 20 defending tutorial. My name is Brabzy, esports pro player, and we're going to get you defending like a champ. So make sure to hit the subscribe button and let's go. Section 1 defensive setup. Massive tip right from the off in your main menu. Uh, go to customize and settings and then customize controls. I'm surprised no one's really pointed this out before, but then again, I'm really nerdy like this. Um, if you're finding jockeying really slow and just like really clunky, nah fam, look at that bad boy assisted. Change that to manual. Straight away you will find a massive difference with your player's speed. You'll be able to close people down quicker. Um, your jockeying will move a lot quicker. Note, this will also be really hard to get used to, first of all, so please watch the video throughout and I'll show you exactly what you need to do for this. As an aside from this, I actually find um, switching players a bit dodgy in FIFA 20 for some reason when you're using the right analog stick. Um, and I've noticed right stick switching is on player relative. Now, to me, I always like use the ball as a centre point. You can actually change that to ball relative, which is exactly that, using the ball as the central point and you can switch from there. I've found player switching a lot better since doing that, so that's more down to your personal preference, but definitely put your jockey in on manual, guys. Section two, mentality. Let me quickly talk to you about how you can change your approach to defending. Defending on FIFA is simply stopping your opponent from scoring. You are in charge, it's your opponent who's got the pressure on them. They need to break you down. So don't rush into tackles, just block off their passing and shooting opportunities and the ball will come back to you naturally either through a tackle, a misplaced pass and an interception or save, etc. Remember that thought, you are in control. Let's get on into the main part. Section 3 is all about where to position yourself on the pitch and what buttons to use. Here we're looking at jockeying which is done by holding the L2 or LT trigger button down. This is a sort of distance you want to leave between yourself and the player while you're jockeying them. This makes it harder for them to use a skill move to get past you and you can slowly start to close in on them when the opportunity arises. By doing this you don't even need to tackle your opponent. Simply moving towards them whilst jockeying will put your foot in when the moment arises. Now you know what distance to use when jockeying your opponent, you need to have a look at what their passing options are and try and put yourself in between that line. By doing this not only are you making your opponent have to think about what to do next, you're breaking off their passing opportunities. Next up is knowing how to use teammate contain with R1 and knowing how to switch your players with L1 or the right analogue stick. Hold R1 to put pressure on the ball player whilst you cover off the passing lines with your control player. Once you've done this, you can then switch to the player near the ball. In this scenario, a gap appears, so rather than putting pressure on the ball player, we anticipate the pass and close down that space in front of them. Use the same logic in one-on-one -on -one situations. Try and block the passing opportunity whilst maintaining pressure on the ball player. As a last resort, you can use the R3 button to move your goalkeeper about on their line to try and anticipate your opponent's shot. A useful trick in doing this is to show them the near post and then quickly move back across to stop the shot. Right guys, so now you have all the tools you will need. I want to prove to you that mastering this will truly give you an edge against your opponent, so here's an example of how to defend against someone tough. Put together a basic Bundesliga side and headed into foot champions. We're lucky enough to match up against Nicky Barca who is a full time German FIFA streamer. Nicky's put together an amazing expensive squad so this is a really tough matchup. Please note the video is in no way negative towards Nicky who is a great streamer. This is simply to prove that you guys can have what it takes with this defending. Let's go team. Early in the match, we jockey Nicky and block off all these passing opportunities to get a feel for how he likes to attack. This is a great example of standing up your player and keeping your distance to make yourself harder to get past. 
here we're constantly keeping that man in the way of the passing opportunity. We know he's going to have to turn backwards to look for another pass and that's when we strike with a tackle. Nicky tries to use a similar defending approach but leaves a little bit too much space for me to find my passes so I can easily pass through him. Notice here how Nicky isn't jockeying my players when I'm passing the ball around and this makes it easier to pass around him. If he would have jockeyed me here it would have been much harder for me to string these passes together. At this stage of the match we're now 1-0 up and still maintaining our tight pressure when jockeying him. Here's a good example of when to use the R1 to call your second player. I missed my first tackle and in comes the second player to bail me out. Here's a huge bonus tip for both attacking and defending. Whenever I get the ball I look at my radar and see where my free passes are. From there I can mix up sideways and backwards passes to quickly move up the pitch and create an attacking situation from the defence. Here it is again, but looking at a defensive point of view this time. You should be looking at the radar and looking at where my free passes are. Here it's obvious that he's going into the middle of the pitch and up to the other wing. That's where you should focus your efforts when defending. Next up, when I get the ball here, I can only go to Perisic or Werner, so you should have been using those two defenders to press. Because this hasn't happened, I've been able to play straight through. There we have it team, use these defending tactics and even against the good players you can come out on top. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know how you found this and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next.